hi viewers did you wonder how to add your own data which is not present in the LLM so in this video we try to discuss all these things with a low code or a no code platform that is nothing but the N8N now you are seeing the workflow we try to upload the data for that we need to have a form loader so for this one I am going over here and typing N8N form you can see it on this screen so on new N8N form event I am clicking you can see this is the one which will try to open okay so this is the test URL and this is the production URL and this is the authentication authentication we are giving as a none and form title which we are giving as a file upload you can see it on the screen the same thing I am copy paste giving the form description you can see it and you can come to the form elements add form element I am clicking field name is nothing but the data and element type is nothing but the file and I am enabling the multiple files I am scrolling down you can see multiple files accepted file and types accepted. you can see it accepted file types which is nothing but the dot pdf comma dot csv comma dot txt if you have any other file extensions you can give it over here now let us test this one whether it is working or not for this one I am clicking so test. it will try to open the form here and say file upload now I am choose the file clicking on the choose the files I am entering onto this rag test files I am giving the PDF file and I am submit and I'm coming back to here you can see the file name and file extension m by mb type and the file size it has been given over here like this I have tested for the txt file and the csv file too once the data is available now I have to convert into the binary for that one I am selecting the three condition nodes that is nothing but the if node you can see on the screen so this is the condition and is equal to the value so for this one I am taking this one based on the file type I am copying and pasting over here so this one next it is boolean value it is a true so I am dragging over here second if condition I am taking if and I am copying here instead of any text I am taking as a PDF and is equal to I am making as a boolean and is true now I am selecting the third if condition for the CSV file too and is equal to boolean is true so like this three if conditions I am making from the on form submission I am giving connection to all these three because all these three will take the same input now I am going over here in order to convert into the binary format there is from a file you can see or convert extract from a file it is there so I am selecting extract from CSV this is extract the data from the CSV now I am scrolling down next extract extract from a file that is nothing but as in a PDF this is extract from the file and input binary field is data and again I am selecting one more that is extract from the file that is nothing but the CSV now I am clicking first if condition what it does it is a text file so where is the text file I need to see this is the CSV this is the CSV so I need to arrange it properly and this see instead of extract from the CSV it is nothing but the extract from the text file or an RTF file so this is the one I am selecting and now we can give from true to here so now I am clicking on the second if condition that is a PDF 
so I am giving over to the PDF only and third one I am clicking you can see the CSV so I am giving on to the CSV so like this based on the input it will go to the particular condition and from the cut particular condition the it will try to extract the data let us so move to the vector store that is simple vector store you can see this is uh, there are action 4 are there so simple vector store add document to the vector store so this one we need to select and what operation mode we have to select insert the document the memory key is a very important vector store key and the batch size is a 200 we try to discuss the batch size in a few minutes and these three inputs these three will be coming over to the simple vector size okay and the simple vector size will have it as in a two inputs are there the first one will be the embeddings so for this one we are selecting the open AI embeddings embeddings of a new open AI so this one will be having the model so the model is three things are there so you can see text embeddings ADA text embedding three small and a text embedding three large if a given text it has been there the vector size of a 2 and small is nothing but the 1536 and the vector size of a 3 large is double that is nothing but the 3072 now let us consider the embeddings of an open AI or an hello world this is the text which will be convert into the vector size of a 1536 okay this is the meaning of a sentence to a vector now I am giving connection over here you can see now here we need to have in a data loader so data loader so you can see it over here data loader so default data loader will be here so the type of the data is a JSON mode load all input data so this is there so now here we try to select it over here and hand over to here and here it is having the text splitter it is there that is nothing but the token splitter okay you can see this one and the chunk size and the chunk overlaps so how many characters you want to take it and what is the overlap between the one chunk to the other so we typically consider as a 10 percentage if you consider the 200 as in a chunk size and chunk overlap is 20 so this is the now it is the time for demo so you can see the test workflow selecting the file one after another we can select first one is a PDF and a submit and we are coming over here you can see now which path it has been selected you can see the PDF path again once again selecting the file that is nothing but the text submit and close this one and you can see it these three are running and you can see and you can see which one it has been highlighted it is a text so rtf and text file now let us see the third one that is nothing but the csv submit come back to here and which one it has been selected this is the csv and if please like do it. practice these sessions if you have any doubts please write in the comment section i will get back to you for more interesting updates please like share comment and subscribe to our channel and please follow this playlist and the channel and we try to see in the next video that is nothing but the rag part 2 we try to retrieve the data from whatever we have stored here and if you have any doubts please write in the comment section before that please subscribe to our channel and support and share the channel those who are in need thank you very much and we try to see in the next video bye